today we have the pleasure of being entertained by David Wright, and he's going to be in character as Doc Holliday. Doc Holliday will be sharing about his life and the railroad road wars. Let's welcome him. Thank you very much. I think I'm already turned on. Thank you. <laughs> We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Give me just a moment, if you will, ladies. As you see, I brought my own refreshments. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not share. Well, it's COVID time, you know. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. It's uh, an extreme pleasure to be here today, especially amongst so many beautiful ladies. I'm almost feeling like I've died and gone to heaven. <laughs> Luckily, I have not yet died. But I do feel like I'm in heaven. Thank you so much. I've been amused over the last few years reading about my supposed exploits of death and destruction throughout the American West and mining towns. And, well, I'm afraid they've been a little overblown by perhaps whiskey soaked journalists who not only embellish the story but have a tendency to listen to gossip and eavesdroppers. So what you may hear may not be true. I have uh, been accused of killing more people than I have. I don't know why I'm making such a noise here but <laughs> I'm afraid maybe it's a little too loud? No, it's because the speaker's right above your head. Scoot back, baby. Would that be any better? No, back. Oh, pardon me. The other back. Thank you. Up against the wall again, I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, a lot of reporters have misspelled my name, got my year of birth wrong. Though in this particular case, it was to my advantage because it made me a year younger than I really am. They've also misunderstood where I've come from. Some say I was born in Virginia. Others claim, no, that's not right. He's from Kentucky. Others, I guess not wanting to make a geographical faux pas, just say, Doc is from the South. Well, that's true, but my name is Holiday, like you're going on holiday, but with two L's. I was born August 14th, 1851, not 52, in a little town called Griffin in the great state of Georgia. Now, Griffin was about 20 miles south and east of Atlanta. The day I was born, my parents were elated. They had a son who could carry on the family name and the family honor. Unbeknownst to a lot of folks, I had a sister, but she died before I was born. Poor thing, she was only about six months old. Well, I wasn't the only child, though, in, in the household, because my daddy, he was in the war with Mexico in the 1840s. And he brought home with him an eight-year-old child named Francisco Hidalgo. And that was before he even married my mother. Now, I grew up there in Griffin, had a great time as a child. Even though I was only a child, I always had friends come over to visit, especially all my cousins. Because we were a very tight-knit family. The McKees, my mom's last name, as well as the Holidays. Now, my daddy had been very successful prior to my birth as a businessman. He bought a lot of land, not only around Griffin, but throughout the state of Georgia. He was also a druggist. He was a rather prominent citizen in Griffin. And my mama, her family, they were very rich. They owned land from Stone Mountain down to Griffin, Georgia which is a distance of about 50 miles. So you can imagine that's quite a bit of land to own. 
As I said, growing up there in Georgia, Griffin was a delight as a young child. I got to go play with my cousins who came over quite frequently to visit. We'd go out in the woods, have a great time out there watching the animals and playing in the streams and creeks that were there. Life seemed to be grand. Well, unfortunately, life didn't turn out to be so grand, because I think there must have been a little cloud hanging over my head most of my life. 